Hello and welcome, Rudo Gaming here, and today I'm going to be going over a quick video on playing Persona on the RPCS free emulator. Now I'm running this with a GTX 1070 and one of the new Ryzen 2 2 700s. I've clocked this manually at 4 GHz across all cores. So we'll see how this plays out. It took me a while to get this configured because I started trying to play Persona and it was just running at like 3 FPS, 10 FPS, even on the title screen and the audio was stuttering. So I'm going to show you how to fix them in today's video. So first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download two files. One of them being a fork of the RPCS free emulator, which would be this one and a patch and eboot. Now the patch and eboot you don't really need, I would suggest downloading it. The patch allows you to skip that really, really annoying bit at the beginning with the Do you want to join the Thieves Guild? Bloody 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 blah. And it has some other features which I've disabled which I'll go over later in the video. For now, we will download them. You can download the RPCS3 emulator from this web address here, which I will obviously put into the comment section below or comment or info section below or you can download it from the alternative Google Drive version which is my archive version which again I will leave below. Now once you've downloaded them you're also going to want to download this patch and eboot .ra. Again it will be in the thing below. Once you've downloaded both of these it's up to you if you want to put them in the same folder you don't have to but what you're going to want to do is open both of them up and extract them to the folder where you have your normal version of RPS 3C blah, 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 whatever the fuck it's called, I can't remember now. I'm just going to go PS3 emulator. PS3 emulator! So it's up to you if you want to overwrite it. It might not be the best idea too in case you want to go back to the old one. But I'm just going to overwrite mine because this one for me works better for Persona. You didn't see that because it was off screen so I'm going to redo that. Okay, put these in here, drag these over the old emulator, wait for it to update. Now once that's done, I'm considering you've already got Persona on your computer, I can't show you how to get that as it is if you're downloading it from a website and you don't own the game, it is breaking a few rules, but if you have a Google, if you know how to use Google, you can find it and when you do find it you'll need to put it into the dev hdd0 disc and you can see i've got it there i don't know why that spyro queues there ignore that it's a ps1 game so onto the patch and eboot you can see we've got two files here one is patch.yml which we're going to put into the main emulator folder with the ps3 exe here and the second one we're going to put into the dev underscore hdd0 folder. We go in there, we go into disk, we go into Persona 5, we go into PS3 underscore game, we go into user directory, and we drag this into there and overwrite that file. Now that's done, I'm just going to show you what my config.yml contains. Because some people are different, all you're really going to need to look at is this bit here that I've highlighted. For PPP decoder, I've got the recompiler. I've got two PPU threads. I've got enable thread scheduler because I'm on a Ryzen and apparently that helps. I don't know. Also, my preferred SPU threads is two and the delay penalty zero. If yours is different than that, you can change it to that. What you're also going to want to do is obviously open up the emulator and you might get this little pop-up box here that basically says it's not an official release. You should probably download an official release but just press yes and go to configuration, CPU and make sure yours are the same as mine. You've got, you know, enable SPU loop detection, you've got lower threads, you've got the scheduler that I mentioned before, GPU wise. 
if you don't want there to be artifacts on people's faces, you're going to want to keep this at 720p. It's up to you. You can change this wherever you want. I have mine at 300%. I've got it on Vulkan. Use GPU texture scaling. Anti-trophic filter in 16. You don't need all of these. I've got quite a high end GPU. Next up, what you're going to want to do is go to Task Manager if it wants to enter. There we go. Now you might think, why do I need Task Manager? Well, here's why. For some reason, if you run Persona 5, straight away, you get laggy cutscenes, you get laggy audio, but by disabling one core in the details part of Task Manager, it allows you to override that. So I'm going to start Persona 5, make sure my controller's on. As you can see, it's pre doing the shaders, which it does. If you're doing this for the first time, it might have to install and do some other stuff. So just wait for it to go ahead with that. Okay, so now we've got to the loading screen here. What you're going to want to do, as you can see, right, the audio is laggy. You can hear that? And the FPS isn't there. So what you're going to want to do is go into Task Manager. Do it by name, so it's higher to the top. Scroll down until you find RSPC 3X, whatever the fuck it, there we go, this one here. And you're going to want to right click it, set affinity, and I get rid of CPU free. I don't know if it has to be this one, it can be others, but for me, getting rid of CPU free ups the performance massively. And as you can see, it's now running at 30 FPS. There's no audio lag, there's nothing. So let's just start and load game. I've gone through the intro bit already. The intro bit, or wherever there's sort of heavy people, a lot of people, it will lower FPS, obviously. But I haven't seen it go less than 15, and that's only when there's loads of people on the screen. And doing it this way, the audio seems to stay the same as well. So even if the FPS drops, the audio carries on as if it was normal. As you can see, we're at 24 FPS here, 23, but there's no audio lag. And when we get out of this place, it will go back up. That sort of thing happens in the streets as well when there's a bunch of people. If there's not many people, then you'll be at 30 FPS. Now there is a mod to make the 60 FPS, which is in that patch file, which I will show you in a bit. But the problem with that is when you get into cutscenes, like pre-rendered ones, it just the audio cuts off because it's made the video faster with the audio still the same. So it just cuts off the audio to get to the next part of the video, which sucks. So I've turned that off. But if you're in a if you played this game before and you're playing it again on the PC and you know where the sort of cutscenes are, then you could always, when you go into like a dungeon, use the 60 FPS patch. As you can see we're at 30 FPS now. We're gonna go around this corner and it will go down because there's a lot of people. See, it was at 18, but as you get past the people, it gradually goes back up. And we're going to go in LeBlanc. LeBlanc! Now, if you, you need to go change some settings or something, or you want to restart the game, you will need to set the affinity back. Otherwise, it will crash and give you an error. The citizens can't live in peace if. Oh, how frightening! What could be going? Hmm. Vertical is the name of the okay. shellfish. Okay. He still still has a laggy face. Vertical. You can see the face he has there. He's got some marks on his face. 
that happens when you put the... Let me just go to GPU. That happens when you put the resolution above 100%. If that's at 100%, you won't get that, but then it's gonna look a bit iffy because it's 100%, which is 720p, and you're upscaling it to whatever, and it's gonna... If you don't mind the slight artifacts, then it's fine. I mean, it's only a face. You can still see it. It's oh, not like it's completely right. blacked out. They did say that was today. Oh, we'll be. Thanks for coming. Okay, now, so now we've done this, alley, so I no will of a car crashing walk in you here. through making it 60 FPS if that's something you guys would want. So, now to get 60 FPS, you're going to need to close this down, close the emulator down, and go into this folder and you should see patch.yml. This is here. Open this up either in Notepad or Notepad++ and you'll get, obviously, quite a few different things here. What you're going to want to do is scroll down to the bottom and here you've got a few commented and uncommented options. You've got one that randomizes the encounter music that you can turn on if you want. You've got the intro skip here that skips the intro with the annoying Do you want to join the Thieves Guild? But for the 60 FPS, you're just want to, going to want to get rid of that hash in front of the 60 FPS PPU code. So get rid of that, save the file. For this one, I'm going to start the game again so I can show you that it's at 60 FPS. So, open this up. Yes, so I do want to use that build. Start the game again. Now remember, even when it's compiling this, to go to RSPC3, Affinity, turn off one of the CPUs, and it just runs better. I don't know why. I honestly, I'm not really sure why that happens, but it works, and the fact it works is good. As you can see, it's now running at 60 FPS. Let's do a new game. Obviously, again, it will drop down similarity. when there's a lot of people in the area. At the start, the contract. when the you're jumping around and Those you're inside the casino, it. it's running you at 30 are. FPS. But when you go into battles and a few others, then it goes at 60. I just want to show you what happens this is our only with chance. the voices if you use the 60 FPS pack. Stay calm. You can get away now. We'll retrieve the briefcase on our end. Was that? Don't worry about us. Okay, let's go. But I have to say, showing yourself above that crowd earlier. As you can see, there's a few artifacts on the running water, but I mean, Joker. if you're going to get stable FPS at the moment in the emulator development, this is sort of what's going to happen. Right there. Get away. Take him down, Joker. <laughs> you see it cut off there? Take him down, Joker. It only seems to be the voices, not the music. So I'm not. Them, there probably is a way to fix it. I mean, I, this patch was made by someone else, not me. But there's got to be a way to make it so the patch only works when you're not in a cutscene. So when you're in a cutscene, it goes back down to 30 FPS, which would then fix the issue with the audio. You can see it's sitting stable at 60 FPS. So it's up to you whether you want to use a 60 FPS patch or not. Personally, I don't because of the cut-off audio. Email. 
location. So if I on this sort of stuff, it's just when huh? what? it's a pre-rendered that Just jump to this, jump, jump, jump! As you can see, even this is playing at 60 FPS. Skip this one. These are the cutscenes I'm talking about. Still running at 60. Guess the drug was too. You see? Wake up. So it's up to you, if you want to use a 60th patch, the option is there, if you don't, personally I would stick to the 30, but as you can see, it's running pretty no well. Dose. It took me a while to get all these settings to work out how to do it, still so I hope this video helps some of you, maybe you're running one of the new Ryzen's and you need that FPS boost, so if you like this video, obviously like, subscribe, I'll try and do some more for you, I'm going to try Demon Souls in a bit, see if I can get that up, and leave a comment below if this video helped you, thanks for watching. Are you thinking it can be used?